expected to put us a little bit behind, but then we we'll penalize the next for that. Um, my chairman here has given me the difficult task of introducing the next speaker, and I have to come up with a name, something like that. Uh, Team Lu Yang, Lei Ko Fang, and Xi Kong Shen. And I think it's Dr. Yang who will be presenting the talk on oxygen species, on service of the lantern oxide, calcium oxide, and its role in the oxidative coupling of the methane. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Remember, this is uh, number 32 because of the change of the My paper, my paper num number is O32, have a change. I'm very pleased to be here to introduce my work on surface ox uh, on oxygen species on the surface of western oxide, calcium oxide, and its role in the, in the oxidative oxygen methane. Recent studies on the reaction mechanism of methane oxidative coupling are focused on the characterization of active oxygen species. Following the reactive works of Keller and Hessen, many catalyst systems have been developed and superoxide, peroxide, O minus, and even lattice oxygen. Uh, have been regard, uh, regarded as the, active, the, the probable active oxygen um, species for the <coughs> activation of methane. This work is to characterize directly the active oxygen species on the, on the surface of a practical catalyst less than oxide, calcium oxide. And FGIR and the TPD are also involved, uh, employed to uh, study the absorption of carbon dioxide and its effect <coughs> on the formation of superoxide. And the interaction of methane with the surface, with the surface of the catalyst at higher temperature are also to be investigated. <laughs> the experimental results will be introduced as the following three parts. First, the characterization of surface oxygen species. Number two, Surface carbonate species and its interaction with cheaper oxide ions. Number three, the interaction of messing with the catalyst surface at 1053 K in the presence of gas based oxygen. At the same time, we'll give you some uh, discussions about the methods of cheaper oxide formation and absorption of carbon dioxide and its effect on the superoxide species. And, uh, and the performance of superoxide ions in oxidative oxygen medicine. First, the characterization of surface oxygen species. This is, this is the EPR spectrum of the catalyst outer gas at 1053 K for one hour and the uh, subsequently quenched to 77 K on the vacuum. Uh, these peaks are the paramagnetic uh, impurities contained in the symbol because they kept, uh, they kept constant, no change uh, before and uh, after the absorption of oxygen, we extract, extract them uh, from the spe uh, EPR spectrum as a background.
This is the EPR spectrum of superoxide ions obtained by oxygen absorption on the catalyst at room temperature. This signal was also obtained by quenching the sample from, from 1053 K to 77 K uh, under oxygen, oxygen atmosphere or slowly uh, uh, cooling the sample from the high temperature to the low temperature. But in the latter two cases, the intensity of the EPR's uh, signals are much stronger than those obtained at room temperature. However, in the later two cases, mm, the same intensity of the signal was observed. This, uh, this species are very stable at room temperature, but when heat the sample containing species to about 373 K, uh, the signal decreased remarkably, and when heated at 473 K, the signal almost disappeared. And the oxygen species was not uh, detected by EPR at, uh, in the presence of gas phase oxygen. Uh, gas phase oxygen. Uh, yeah. We, we suggest that the oxygen species could be formed, could be formed by different two, two ways. Because the catfish is a high temperature p-type p uh, semiconductor. So at high temperature, the electron in the wellness band could be excited to the con conduct conduction band and when the oxygen was introduced, the oxygen molecule could be uh, could capture the electron mm, excited by the more energy uh, and lead to led to the formation of superoxide species. Uh, in the in the absence of oxygen, uh, in the absence of oxygen, yes, oxygen. The electron could be captured by the surface vacancy, oxygen vacancy, and at room temperature, the F center could be formed. And at room temperature, when the oxygen mm, molecule introduced, uh, the molecule could be uh, could uh, obtain the electron uh, on the in the F center. Uh, and lead to the formation of superoxide species at room temperature. When 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 the catalyst out of gas, when the out of gas catalyst was exposed to the carbon dioxide, there um, appeared there immediately appear uh, uh, three bands of IR abs uh, absorption. Uh, this three band, three band, IR three band, this three <coughs> IR bands could be designated to unidentate uh, carbonate spaces on the surface. When the mm, sample was heated on the vacuum, uh, these three bands decreased gradually and at about 873 K mm, these three bands almost uh, disappear.
the TPP experiment revealed, revealed that uh, at about 973 K temperature, uh, the carbon dioxide uh, uh, dissolved. When, uh, when the sample was exposed at room temperature to the uh, oxygen and the uh, carbon dioxide uh, mixture, uh, a weak uh, EPI signal of superoxide uh, observed. And if the sample fr uh, first carbonated at 400, uh, centi uh, 400 degrees centigrade, uh, no EPR signals was observed, uh, no EPR signals of superoxide was observed uh, on the po post absorption of oxygen on the catalyst. If the super, uh, we, if the carbon dioxide was introduced on the oxygen, on the superoxide uh, oxygen ion containing surface, um, the risk uh, led to an uh, increase uh, of the EPR signal of superoxide uh, by a factor of three. If the sample was quenched in the mixture of oxygen and carbon dioxide, uh, no EPI signal of superoxide was observed. <coughs> we suggest that the wind uh, carbon dioxide was introduced on the surface of the catalyst. They, are, they, they react with the surface oxygen, uh, that is surface, surface oxygen, uh, low coordinate, uh, and lead to the unidentified uh, surface carbonate species uh, for, for formation. <coughs> When, when it was heated on the vacuum at about uh, 833 to um, 933 K, um, the carbonate species uh, could dissociate, dissociate to uh, carbon dioxide. And if the risk of uh, oxygen vacancy, vacancy uh, near uh, carbon, uh, carbonate species, the oxygen on, uh, attached to the carbon could attach vac uh, oxygen vacancy and lead to the bidentate uh, carbonate species uh, formation. <coughs> And this uh, would be uh, lead to the um, now of the um, yeah. Uh, this is uh, why this is the reason why the um, oxygen space uh, oxygen was of the uh, uh, was introduced on the carbon, carbonated surface. Because the superoxide ions are in, uh, unstable above temperature uh, 473. It is difficult to investigate the, inter, uh, the interaction of uh, 
messing with with it. So we designed the following uh, theme to study the interaction between uh, messing and uh, superoxide on the surface. Um, first, the catalyst was heated on the, on the oxygen atmosphere uh, for about half an hour. Then the stop box was closed and the other side was replaced by the mixture of oxygen and uh, messing and the uh, mixture of uh, oxygen and the messing at uh, the same total pressure. Uh, then the stop cock was opened and the reactant, the reactant was diffused onto the sample and the reactor with, with it. Uh, after um, sometimes the, the sample was quenched to the liquid uh, nitrogen temperature and um, after evacuation the EPR measurement was wrong. This is the relationship between the diffusion time and intensity of the superoxide signal. It is revealed that wind diffusion time is uh, 90 seconds, that is a remarkable, de remarkable decrease in the intensity of the superoxide uh, signals observed. With a constant diffusion time of 90 seconds, we change the uh, partial pressure of messing in the mixture of in, in mix, the mixed mixture. Mm. Uh, it will that when uh, with the increase of the partial pressure of messing, uh, the intensity of the superoxide uh, signals uh, decreased, and when the pure, ox uh, pure messing was introduced. Uh, no, it, no oxygen species EPR signals was observed. At, at below the um, 200 and uh, 170 uh, degrees centigrade, the activity of the superoxide uh, mm, less than these two oxygen species. But at high temperature, it could be, uh, it could uh, activate the messing, mm, the messing. No, not concluded. The superoxide, the superoxide ions on the catalyst can be formed I by cooling the sample from 1053 to 97K on the oxygen or by absorption of oxygen on the catalyst at room temperature. The absorption of carbon dioxide on the catalyst at room temperature leads to the formation of benedented carbonates. They inhibit the formation of superoxide as oxy oxygen absorbs, while the first absorption of carbon dioxide increased, increases the intensity of superoxide EPR signals. The reaction of messing with the catalyst surface at the elevated temperature results in the decrease of superoxide EPR signal in intensity. The superoxygen species located on the surface a uh, probable active oxygen species for the activation of messing. Thank you for your attention. This work is very interesting since it comes first, so we may have more friends plenty of time to, to talk a little bit about this, this thing. I mean, uh, in your work on, on, the, on this booklet, on 96, it's a poster on 96, you have the CO2 present 
at the 25 tall, you still got O2 minus 1. O, O2 minus 1 uh, species. Uh, the signal intensity increased from 100 units to relative 100 units to 14 units. That means at 25 tall of, in the presence of 25 tall of carbon dioxide, you still can detect at 780 units, and ox, ox, oxide species of about 14 units, 14 in, in intensity units, for, uh, relative to 100% with zero percentage of carbon dioxide, I mean, in uh, 98. So I agree with you that carbon dioxide, although in the presence of about 3% of carbon dioxide under one atmosphere, uh, you still can have ox, superoxide species detected because 25 tall would be one third of 784, 70, oh, no, no, seven, that, that's a very low, I, I think that, that's a mistake. Uh, 2.5, 25 to 750, that means 2.5%, 2.5%, no, no, 2.5% of carbon dioxide. So in your, in, in, in your actual case of the reaction, you have a plug flow system. Most of the time, the catalyst is in contact with, with methane in the absence of carbon dioxide. Only at the end of the reaction, I mean, when the, before the, 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 the gas exit from the reactor, uh, would it be concentrated enough in carbon dioxide to interfere much with the formation of, of superoxide? I mean, it is a plug flow reaction. You, 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 you have the feed. The feed is free from CO. You usually it is free from CO. And it will, in the actual reaction condition, you use carbon dioxide free methane, even undiluted, and plus some oxygen. Plus some oxygen. And it, most of the time, it travels through the reactor in the absence of carbon dioxide. Only maybe at the end of the, before, before it exits from the tube, you have the concentration of CO2 built up to the point that it will hinder the formation of superoxide species. So superoxide species will prevail most of the time through the reactor. And so I agree with you that common uh, superoxide species might still exist under reaction conditions most of the time in the reactor. And since you, you, you have provided some evidence that it can react uh, with methane. So at that temperature, O2 minus 1 is reactive enough to react with methane. Although it will be interfered by carbon dioxide because the carbon dioxide will occupy the, uh, the, 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 the anionic vacancy and prevent the absorption of molecular yeah. dioxide. Uh, so that's all. <laughs> Uh, I don't know whether it, yeah, I, I, uh, I have done a comparative uh, experiment to, uh, read, to draw out the effect of carbon dioxide uh, on the formation um, on the formation of superoxide uh, as the same way the, of the fusing fusing reaction. Yes. Uh, save the rest of the comment for individual discussion. Okay, let's thank the speaker one more time.